Hello and welcome to today's broadcast. Uh, today I'm going to share with you about American life. Do you dream of visiting, studying, and living permanently in the United States of America? Uh, before I continue with this video, if you are new into this channel, this is Gracie Media Platform. And the object of this platform is to share words of hope, hands, and American life. We may not cover everything, but it will be an introductory tutorial of how your journey can begin. So two ways in which you can find yourself in the United States of America. One is as an immigrant or as a non-immigrant. So I'm sharing on the screen who is an, an immigrant. An immigrant is a person who comes to live permanently in a foreign country. If you can leave your country and go into another country to live there, then you are an immigrant permanently. Non-immigrant, which is the opposite of immigrant, is a person who is not uh, planning to live permanently in a foreign country, but just temporarily. So in today's video, the key will be to learn how to source for information about U.S. immigration and immigration services on your table. Uh, knowledge is power. And sometimes we usually think that things are too hard or we need someone, you know, to connect us to this. But I want to uh, share with you general information. I'm not an immigration lawyer, um, but, you know, I have some little experience and um, I, I am willing to share with you this information because knowledge is power. So uh, thinking about non-immigrant and non-immigrant visas, we've got a number of uh, non-immigrant visas. And I have provided a link here, uh, which should help you be able to access information about non-immigrant visa. So non-immigrant visas are non-temporary uh, visas. You want to visit a country like USA, and you want just to maybe visit a friend or a family relative, or you want to go there for a business, then you go back to your country, or you want to you know, just uh, to tour America, you know, as a tourist, you can apply for non-immigrant visas. And there are various different uh, classes, you know, depending on whatever reason that is bringing you into a foreign country like United States of America. Now, uh, I have provided these links as a way of empowering you with some general information on how to access or access the website, you know, because sometimes when we go, we don't know like what to pick. There's so much information out there. And so the links that I've provided you, they are from the official website of United States of America. And we are going to learn how do you identify this official website, you know, because there are so many information out there. So I'm going to take you through a little bit uh, through this, the first link here, uh, when you want to apply for non-immigrant visas. And this one will be very suitable, particularly if you're, you, you don't live in the USA and you plan to visit USA or UK or Canada or any other foreign country. But specifically, I'll be majoring on United States of America. So let's click this link and see what we can learn from it. I'm going to take you to this website. And as you can see, this is an official website of the United States uh, government. Here's how you know. If you click here, in the official website, it will always use .gov. Yeah, .gov website belong to an official government organization in the United States. And this is the page that we, we wanted. This is the page that we wanted. Uh, so 
if you look at this page, it actually introduces you on how to apply for an immigrant visas to the United States of America. And there are different types. So examples include tourist visas, student visas, business visas, travelers visas, future spouses visas. All those visas will be provided on this website. And uh, you can also find in this website information about uh, ESTA and visa waiver program, you know, a lot and how to get a job in the United States as a foreign worker. You know, when you come here, you can get all this information on this page. Let's uh, browse a little bit on this page and see what can we learn. Um, just to see how to apply online for a business or tourism visitor visa to the U.S. If you want to come to the U.S. Uh, for business or just to tour, you know, to visit your friends, to visit your, your, your relatives, uh, you can apply for tourism visa, you know. And this page actually shows you um, like what do you need? What do you require? Find out if you need a visa. Eh? Do you really need a visa in the first place? So if you click on this, you will be able to learn, do I really need a visa? Or I can still, uh, maybe I can just be uh, apply for visa waiver program. I just need maybe my passport and just come. Uh, so when it comes to tourism, you know, business and tourism travelers, they mostly need a B1 or B2 visitor visa. So this page explains to you what uh, B1 and B2 visas are. And as you can see, like B2 here, uh, this one is a visa that is a classification for tourism on vacation if you want just to tour USA. And uh, if you want to come for medical treatment or for, for social event or, you know, just for visiting, uh, B1 would more be for a business person. You know, if you want to make business in the United States of America, you know, just a temporary visit for business, you can apply for B1 visa. Uh, and this page explains to you how then do you move on to apply for such a visa. So this form is very, very important. This form is called Form DS-160, the Non-Immigrant Visa Application Form. So that form, you need to complete it, you know, and complete it accurately based on the type of visa that you need to apply. So uh, I may not click on these links, but I'm, I've shared with you the main link so that you'll be able to Google it and uh, read for yourself, you know, uh, access this information for yourself. This is information that needs time. You know, you click on these links and you get to understand all that is required. You know, the requirement, like the photo, the fees that are paid when you are applying for visa, how to schedule an interview, all that will be provided in this uh, page or this website. Another um, non-immigrant visa is a student and vocational training visa. Uh, so you, if, you, if you desire actually to come uh, or to move abroad for further studies, this is the kind of information that you need. Uh, as an international student, how can you apply for a student or exchange visitor visa? or, you know, and you read on this information and you get to know the requirement. Like even before you apply for the student visas, the most common, common ones are F1 and M1 visas. You need to know what do you need first of all to do. So you see here, uh, you first of all have to find and apply in a school that is certified in the student and exchange visa program. What is that? It has been explained here. And the fees that are paid, you know, this is the process. And uh, uh, these are the type of visas, uh, you know, F1 is for a full-time international student pursuing academic studies. Like if you want to come and do your bachelor's degree, master's, you know, uh, PhD, you can apply F1 for a full-time international students. 
um, M1 visa classification is for a full-time international student pursuing vocational studies. Vocational studies, you know, um, vocational studies, we are talking of maybe something beside academia world for, you know, like learning the art of music, something like that, you know, artistic kind of studies. Uh, so all this information is provided on this page, yeah? And another one, maybe we can highlight another kind of visa you can apply for as a non-immigrant is what we call K-1 or fiancé visa, you know? And this one is if you get a friend who is living here in the United States and you love each other and you plan to marry and live in the United States, this is the kind of visa that you can apply uh, to petition for you to come and join your fiancé, you know? Um, yeah, the K-1 visa allows you to travel to the United States to marry your fiancé within 90 days of arriving. 90 days of arriving. Uh, so after you marry, you may apply for adjustment of status to get a permanent resident, what we refer to as green card. Green card. So uh, these are non-immigrant visas. They are temporary visas that enables you to get into the United States of America. And once you are here, you can now navigate your way to getting permanent resident, uh, what we call green card or uh, permanent living uh, in the United States of America. And if we go back, if I stop sharing this and I go back to my page, we can be able to see another link that I have shared here types of immigrant visas. So remember again, we said an immigrant is that person who comes to a foreign uh, country with a, with a purpose of living there permanently. So you have to have documentation that uh, says you can live in a foreign country like United States of America permanently. And you can be able to find all those kind of uh, visas or forms that apply for citizenship, and actually, first of all, you apply for permanent residency, which after some years, you also apply to be nationalized, to be a citizen. So it's usually a process. And therefore, if you click on this link, you see they are almost very closely rated. Actually, the only difference is that for non-immigrant visas, I, we, there is an inclusion here of visas so that we can be able to to, to get the non-immigrant visas. And the other link here is the same uh, from a United States uh, official website. If we click on this, let's try to click on this and uh, I'll try to share and see. So just a minute as I try to pull down this to share with you that page. After clicking, clicking that link, it takes us to this page. Again, you realize here, this is an official website of the United States of America. And you can be able to find uh, subtopics here. One of it here is, you know, forms. Uh, forms, this is whereby you find all those kind of forms. And maybe, one way to find yourself living permanently in the United States of America as a non-immigrant is uh, the, the obvious uh, method that we all know of applying for green card lottery. And if you win that lottery, uh, you can be able to find yourself getting a permanent residence card or green card which enables you to live permanently in the United States of America. So that is the first way. And there are other ways. And particularly if you find yourself now in America, maybe let's say uh, you came here as a student and then after uh, your stay before your program was over, uh, maybe you got uh, a fiancé who married you, you know, and you found yourself living in the United States. You can have uh, your fiancé 
petition for you so that you can uh, you can become a permanent resident of United States of America. And that's where you find all this kind of form. Uh, if I click on form here uh, or forms, uh, all forms, you can find them here. Uh, this one will particularly be very helpful for those who are already in the United States of America. Like there is a famous form, form I-130, form I-130. It's light here. This form is uh, for petitioning for Aryan relative. You, you're told use this form if you are a US citizen or lawful permanent resident and you need to establish your relationship to an eligible relative who wishes to come to or remain in the United States permanently and get, uh, and get a permanent resident card or a green card. So I have given you an example. If you are maybe a student and you come and maybe before you go back home, you just get into a relationship that works for you and um, you find yourself, you know, getting a fiance, getting married, your fiance or your spouse can petition for you to become a permanent resident. And this is where this form uh, is applied. We have so many, many forms. These are different forms. And I would say this form particularly will apply more for a person who is already living in the United States of America, in my immigration uh, forms. Uh, another one which is very common, let's say, for instance, you came here as a visitor and uh, you find yourself, uh, you maybe your visa has expired and you have extended your you stay here or you still want to, uh, to try your luck of becoming a permanent resident of United States of America, you can apply for this form. We call it asylum. Uh, and for withholding of removal, there are people who are usually caught up with here and uh, maybe they are, they, are, they are put into a place led to be deported back to their countries. If they work well with their immigration lawyers, my you, I'm not an immigration lawyer, I'm just providing basic general information, uh, which I think it will be very, very helpful for uh, all of us. So if you find yourself in a situation whereby you are withheld for deportation back to your country, you can work with your immigration lawyer uh, to apply for this form asylum and for withholding of your removal from United States of America. So you can get all this information here, all this information here. Uh, so let's go back and complete our Our, our, our tutorial. So I have shared with you today's uh, video, two important links. And particularly if you are outside the, of the United States and you always wonder, how can I visit? How can I you know, study? How can I live in the United States of America? This is one of the link that will provide you with a lot of information. And you know what? Uh, knowledge is power. You might think that, oh, I don't have this and this. I don't know anyone in America. I don't have a relative. You, all, you, you have all that it requires, all that it takes. If you have a phone, a good phone, that you can be able to access this information. If you have a desktop, if you have a laptop, you can be able to use this link and study for yourself all that is required of you, yeah? And uh, if you don't have any of these gadgets, please visit a cyber cafe and uh, just browse, you know, go to this uh, website and get to learn more. You know, you can utilize your time well by understanding what is being offered there. Uh, so those are very important links that I decided to share with you in today's introductory uh, video of life or American life. Now, you might be wondering, okay, Gracie, how did you find all your opportunity doors opened for you to be in America? So one, I'm a beneficiary of a temporary non-immigrant visa, F1 student visa, which you will be able to find in this link. And um, in my 
in one of the videos, I, will, I, I plan to probably show you, uh, maybe before even you apply for this visa, you have first of all to apply for a school in abroad, you know, and I'll be taking you like, how, how can you source for this information? You know, in our next video, how can we, uh, how can we access this information about you know schools abroad, right in USA? Uh, we're gonna pick one school, and I'm gonna try to take you through a little bit of tutorial of how you can be able to source for this information and understand the requirements, what you need, because it's usually a process. It's not a one day event, uh, and. Uh, you know, we'll be sharing with you and I tell you, it took me like a whole year, you know, for the whole process to go through, you know, applying, looking for all the documents required, doing exams required, all that kind of stuff uh, for me to be able even to apply and wait for feedback, whether I have been accepted by the school for admission, whether they have offered me a scholarship or not, you know, all that is a process. And then after you, they admit you, they are, they are the ones that recommend or, you know, write a letter so that you can apply for F1 student visa and, you know, be given uh, by the, you know, U US embassy. So all that information is very important. And uh, I hope you've, you've uh, benefited from today's video as an introductory part. If you think that you have learned something and particularly being able to access the, you know, the links that can really help you source for information, please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and consider uh, joining this family through subscribing so that you can always uh, be in a position to follow up with what I'm providing uh, to you. Uh, please join the family and uh, I know we will be blessed. Uh, and again, you know, remember to hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be in a position to get the information as the first person. Please share this information. Let more and more people know uh, that information is right there for them on their tables. They just need to know how to source for lead. So thank you. I'm so happy uh, for you and uh, that you are watching these videos. Until the next video, bye for now.